It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Hey, I want to talk about the HP Plus program, that program. We've all heard it. You know, they teamed up with Staples. I got to show you, you know, a picture on my Clear Touch Interactive Board because I'm going to ask you a question, but I think you need to visualize the question because it could be more impactful for you to burn into your mind. But ladies and gentlemen, here's the question. Did Staples and HP get together making it easy for HP to staple themselves to the reseller's customers? That's kind of a lot to digest, so let me say it again. Is it now easy for HP to staple themselves to the reseller's customers with this HP Plus program? I think the reason it's called HP Plus, it's really HP Plus your customers, meaning the reseller's customers. HP Plus your customers. Folks, sometimes, sometimes, OEMs, shoes grow. <laughs> I mean, they just, you know, used to say, don't get too big for your britches. But of course, when your britches get too big, they just fall down and embarrass you. But when your feet grow and your shoes grow, well, now you're able to step right over things. You'll be able to crush things. You're, you're able to eliminate things. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful that the OEMs you do business with, you know, aren't getting too big in their shoes because we wouldn't want this to happen to any of our reseller friends. So ladies and gentlemen, I think I want to define the Amplify program and the HP Plus. I put in parentheses over here, your customers. I want to define these two programs kind of the way I see them. Now, I'm sure these programs are different the way HP might see them. But this is what I see looking in, okay? I see this. Let me get my, my clear touch interactive board working here. So ladies and gentlemen, I see this huge, this huge company with a major megaphone. Look how big that megaphone is. And I see this huge company amplifying their message so loudly it goes right past the reseller I got here in the middle. You see this reseller? This message goes right past that reseller. Really loud, big, huge megaphone. Buy from me, buy from me, right into the customer's offices. And those customers are the resellers. Those are the reseller's customers. But because the reseller, they didn't modernize. They didn't get into e-commerce. They sat out there in a 1990 business model, and this big, huge behemoth is amplifying their message right into those customers' offices. You see this word reseller up here? Well, a lot of times, these big OEMs, you know what they do? We all know how to spell reseller, right? R-E-S-E-L-L-E-R, -E -E reseller. Well, what a lot of these big, giant OEMs do sometimes is they like to scratch off the R-E, and they replace that R-E with W-E, we sell her. <laughs> we sell her right into their offices. You see, normally what happens, folks, is the OEMs, you know what they do? They, they sell stuff to the reseller. We call that wholesale selling. <laughs> you buy this stuff from me, and then you go sell it to the end user. That's what the resellers do. You know, they have this nice little space here. Buy stuff from OEMs. Buy it for wholesale. Get some discounts on it. Hopefully they don't have to sign some ludicrous contract to do it. It's 80 pages long or something. Hopefully they just come up with some nice agreement. They buy the stuff wholesale and they sell it right into those customers' offices. And then again, you know, we got the big giant people amplifying the message right into the customers' offices. Something to think about. So let's talk about HP a little bit. You know, they're the guys and gals that are running around saying they're going to disrupt the A3 marketplace. Ironically, I believe they just kicked off some new A3 machines. Isn't that exciting? They probably planned that, you know, back in 2016. They're just now getting them to market. It's 2020. We're in the middle of a global pandemic, and the entire market's going from A3 to A4. So that strategy is probably not a good one. <laughs> and this subscription model, I mean, come on, folks. Do we really need to have a subscription on a printer in our house? Seriously. I've done many of videos, made fun of this for a while now. But think about it. Think about it. So here's the deal. If you just need... Some, some supplies for your printer. So let's start there first. You know, you got all these HP printers in an account. You're this reseller, you know. You're tired of getting blasted messages over the top of your head. But you got to satisfy some needs of your customers that need supplies for their printers. Well, you know what you do, folks? It's really simple. You call my friends over at Clover. You call my friends over at Clover because you can clearly see on my ClearTouch Interactive board, Clover knows its size and, and space between the resellers and the customers. Clover's not trying to cut paths through here to go direct to your customers. Clover's not using microphones to scream out loud to get into your customers' offices. They're not coming up with fancy tools and gadgets to get your customers to go to them direct. They understand the reseller space. They respect it. 
They sell you stuff wholesale. Simple, simple math. Here, you buy this from me. <laughs> you know, the more you buy, I might give you special pricing. Oh, by the way, my contract's like two pages long. You know, you buy from me, you pay me on time, we'll have a great relationship. You know, and then you take the products I sell you, and it, you know, Clover even sells printers, by the way, folks. A lot of people don't know that. They have printers, too. But you take this stuff that I sell you, and then you, you, you go ahead and sell that to your customers. You know, make your customers happy with our stuff. They're excited about doing that. You see, they really are, because, you know, they know, they know that if they, if they don't do that, well, people will think they're too big for their shoes. People will think they're going to step on them. Well, I assure you, I assure you, my friends, over at Clover, they don't think that way because they know. They know how important that reseller group is. They really do, folks. So just some things to think about over the weekend. We're going to see a lot of crazy contracts coming out, I'm sure, from a lot of these OEMs trying to figure out how to go direct into the offices of the customers of the reseller. Don't be that little tiny reseller that didn't modify his business. Don't be that little tiny reseller. And when I say tiny reseller, you can be a $100 million reseller, but you can't compete with a $50 billion reseller, okay? That's a lot bigger than you. So you got to figure out how are you going to how are you going to deliver products, supplies and services to end users with a means that blows away, that blows away any any kind of experience these big gorillas could give those customers. You can do it, but it won't be easy. But nothing ever is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this the way that I always do. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all on Monday.